All right, guys. Today we have this 55-inch Samsung. The model number of this TV is a UN55H6203 AF. And basically what's happening with this TV is that when we plug it in, if you look down there at the right corner, there should be a flashing red light as soon as we plug it in. When we power it on, the light's flashing. Or is the light flashing? No, it's not. It's a steady red light. When we go to power, hit it, it should start flashing. Okay. By that time, we should be getting the picture coming up. But uh, we obviously do not. And if I take my trusty flashlight, okay. I can actually see something on the screen right there. Looks like it says power off or standby or something. And like anything else up here. Anyway, that's another one with an indication of a bad backlight problem. So let's take this bad baby apart and see what the flux is going on. Shy Town's finest. Okay, just to verify the model number of this TV, this is a UN55H6203AF or AFXZA. And this TV was actually manufactured in June of 2014. Okay, so approximately seven years old. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take off the stand. Four screws. The stand slides out. Okay, so when you put it back on, make sure that you slide it in. And we're going to take the back cover off. This has actually has two back covers. Uh, as you see in my other videos with these same sets, 60, 65 inch. Um, they have the same design here. Okay, and also there's a 50 inch like this too. The two cup covers, take this cover off first. Okay, it gives you access, gives you access to all the boards except for the T-Con board which is located right up under here, right up under the, where you mount the stand at. Okay. Plastic screw here, up under the AC input. Get something and just pry it up and it slides right out. Grab from right here. Okay, slides right out. My main board, power supply board. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is check the LEDs. Okay, so this is our LED plug going right inside of the TV, as you can see. So on our power supply board, and it is labeled. Uh, there are actually four lines, okay? So this is pretty straightforward. Uh, there is a legend up under the actual plug, okay? And basically, the lines are separated by space in the plug, so, so there's gray, black, there's one line, gray, black, gray, black, and, oh, wait a minute, there's five lines, actually, hold on. Yeah, there's five lines, I'm sorry. We've got five lines, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and obviously the gray wire is plus and the black wire is where you're gonna put your LED or negative black lead um, to test each line. So, I'm actually gonna unplug it. Just make sure you don't get any interference any interference with the circuit. Okay. 
And I'm gonna start here on our first line. Okay, the blue numbers, meters working. It's a short, okay? So, start with this line here. Black on black, red on the gray wire for our first line on the end. And I am reading 40 volts. And I do see backlight coming through the back of the TV. Okay. The second line. Black on black. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, that is reading 37 volts. Okay. Which means we, which means we may have a shorted LED on that one. One that's not lighting up. Okay, our next line. That is also 40 volts. Okay, and this one, this fourth line, is actually reading 40 volts again, and I can see backlights through the TV. And the last line, well actually this is the first one that says line number one, but this is our last one that we're going to check. It is in there, and that is wide open, okay? 336. If I take it off, still 300, still 336. Okay, so we do have an LED problem for sure. So we need to take the rest of the TV apart. Okay, so we're just gonna remove our outer back cover. All right, there are some screws up under here, up under where the stand goes. Make sure you do take those out and make sure that you do put those back on because that is what supports the stand. Those, these screws here are actually connected to the metal heat, heat shield over the T-Con board, okay, which holds the TV. All right, so make sure that you take these out for sure. These are all metal screws. There are four. Doesn't look like it, but this may be this is for the speakers, okay? So I doubt the speakers are connected to the back cover, but I definitely will unplug, will unplug the speakers. Come on. And I'm going to unplug this wire here. This is for our toggle switch and our Wi-Fi module and also for our standby light and remote, okay? And the Wi-Fi module may be connected to the back cover. So we definitely wanna make sure that we got this un unplugged in case we yank the back cover up, right? And then we're going to just remove all the screws around the rest of the back cover, okay? Which should all be the same. Okay, we're good. This one, where is the Wi-Fi module? Oh, Wi-Fi module is over here. That's our Wi-Fi module. So you're getting in with Samsung, you can and you cannot get online. It will not detect your password. And it's been detecting your password, you know your Wi-Fi is good in the house, your internet's good. Just go ahead and change this little $15 Wi-Fi module. It has a part number right on it, okay? They probably use the same one for various TVs, but just order that and be done with it, okay? Don't sit there and be trying to figure it out and tell me you need a software upgrade and all that stuff going online, calling Samsung and all that. Just, just change that, okay? All right, so just, with just one screw, it just, it just connects one right here. Change it. It's about no more than 20, 25 bucks. Just Google the part number. Okay, anyway. All right, and we'll go ahead and take off our toggle switch. Okay, only goes in one way. It's got a little groove right here, so we know where that goes. Okay, so we'll put that back in there. I'm gonna 
disconnect my speakers so those won't fall off while working on it. They are marked right and left, okay? And for safety purposes, I'm going to disconnect my LDVS cable coming from here to the TCOM board, okay? So it won't make any mistakes and fire it up. Um, and have voltage coming through here. <clears throat> While well, it's disconnected, okay? Just gonna tape it down so it won't move around anywhere. Okay, good. Now, we're just going to disconnect our cables, our cables going from our T-Con board, which is located right here, up under the shield, to our driver boards, left and right. Easy peasy. Okay. Okay, now we are ready to turn this around and remove the outer bezel. Okay, one thing I do want to mention, um, when you're removing the outer bezel, and if I can zoom in here. Okay. This very first, um, where am I? Where am I at right here? <laughs> okay, this very first plastic black is the diffuser bracket, I believe. So you wanna go in between that one and there are some tabs, as you can see right here. There's a tab, go right in between there and lift that tab up. Of course you have to do it while the TV is upside down. I'm just letting you know, you don't want to, like right here, there's another tab. Actually, I've got them all marked, okay? And, um, come on. Just go right where the tab is at and pull it up from right there. See how that came, that came loose? Okay, and there's one there. You see that? And they're all the way around the TV. Okay, so don't try to get all the way to the metal part and take it up like that because you might screw something up then, okay? So it's just, just the outer bezel that we're taking off, okay? As you can see, there's still some black stuff, a black bracket or something running in between. I believe that's actually screwed on, I'm not sure. But uh, just so you know that, so you're gonna have to turn it around, flip the TV on its back, and then you're gonna have to get up under there just like a mechanic, okay? And take the outer bezel off, pry it up on each one of those things. And I did mark all of them all the way around the TV. So when I look up under there with my flashlight, I know what to, I know where to start prying at. Now on some of these TV models, um, you're gonna have to wiggle it out until the bottom part, it doesn't have any screws in it. Make sure it doesn't have any screws in it because some models do have screws, like one or two or three screws in the bottom. So it actually should come out like this. If I wiggle it around. not just take your you don't want to stick anything up under there like metal or anything because you're going to damage the driver boards so just use your fingernails or your hands kind of like I said make sure there's no screw first and there we go that should come right up all 
right? And then we're going to release our driver boards, which should be fairly easy. Okay, if I just go up, if I push these up and slide the bottom part out, that should come right, let's see here. Almost this last one. How was that last one? There we go. Pull these out. Voila. That easy. Actually, going to fold our driver boards over, take them to the screen. There's no tape on these tabs when you go to pick the screen up, okay? Or well, make sure, I'm sorry, make sure the, the, tab, the tab is not taped. Like, make sure it's not taped there like that. Okay, so they're free, okay? So now, let's pull our screen up. I'm gonna lay it flat or up against, I lay mine up against the couch. Um, and make sure that you do not lay it with, on these, lay it you know, if you, have to, if you have to lay it straight up, do not lay it on the driver boards, okay? Make sure you just put it, make sure the driver boards are up, because you do not want to cringe those connectors at all. Otherwise, you're gonna have some serious problems. Now I'm going to find the bottom of my TV. This is how I do it. All this mark stuff. Okay, bottom left corner. The bottom is where our rim connectors are. Okay, that's where the T-Con board is. I'm going to mark these brackets and also a small dot on the screen. And I'm also going to mark some red on the actual metal chassis. Okay, because these driver boards, I'm sorry, driver boards. These uh, brackets for the diffuser screens are uh, come in four okay and it looks like the top the top and bottom have to come off first because the sides have some tabs that the top and bottom piece go over i can see that already yeah okay so the top and the top and the bottom piece has to go out come off first and there's just some clips up under, up under there you'll be able to see them when you um Just some clips right here. So just take something, this here. Okay, now we're going to remove our diffuser screens, okay? And we just have one thin and one thick one. 
the bottom, okay? Keep these together because you do not want to flip these around when you put it back on or whatever. You want to just keep these together, all right? Take them off. I want to mark my white paper in red. That's the bottom left corner. I'm also gonna mark my chassis in red. So it won't be no confusion about that. And all we have holding this paper down looks like are, let's, let's hold it down the strips, okay. Is these six things here, which I think you can just turn and it comes right out, maybe not. So obviously we have to squeeze them from the other side. Squeeze them from the other side. Just get some needle, some needle nose pliers. Squeeze them. Push them down. Just like that. You can check each strip individually if you want, um, but I'm actually going to replace all the strips in here because I know these Samsungs, I'm surprised there's only actually one LED blown or a couple shorter. You know what, let's see, wait a minute, let's, let's, let's just find out. Let's, let's find out. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So there's one line, there's one line going to each strip. I do see a positive negative mark on there. Okay. Everything's lighting up on that one. Just got one out on that one. That's the one that was reading 37. Okay. Everything's lighting up on that one. Everything's lighting up on that one. And this is our open, our strip with our open LED. Okay, so I don't have any test points on here. Um, I don't think, let me see. Is that a test point? So in order, if you, if you just wanted to replace the individual LED, you're gonna have to scrape the trace off of it and see which one is bad. But obviously I can just replace that one if I want and that other one, but I'm just gonna replace them all. Um, they actually, I'm gonna have to go to the other side again. That's the only thing. And take off of these. Little white secure tabs for the strips. These are not taped, except for a piece of tape right here which is a pain to get off. <laughs> I, this is, trust me, I usually just slice it with a knife on each one so I try to pull the tape off because it's not gonna work that way. These two long pieces of tape. So I'll just actually take a knife and just cut it. Each one. Go. 
And you can always put some more tape on there. You can put some, um, you know, some clear packing tape. Or, you know, that's what I usually use when I tape it back. Because you want to keep these as close to, I think the back of these are metal. So you want to keep these as close to the chassis as possible and tight and secure so it can dissipate the heat to the chassis. And like I said, there's a tab, white tab on each end. Then I guess we're gonna to have to go to the bottom of the TV and squeeze those out also. Yep, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. See, one, two, three. There's one right here up under the main board. I'm gonna probably get to it without removing the main board, no big deal. Okay, and let's see, I might have to use something smaller. I can't even get to that one. Let me see here. I definitely do not want to crack the main board. I'm just gonna turn it around and squeeze it down. Squeeze it out. There we go. That easy. You can do one at a time if you want. I'm gonna push them all out so all of those fall down. Okay, so these are all my new strips I got off the of Shop Jimmy. And it's actually 10 pieces. These are two strips. Okay, and one. Okay. No big deal. And we also have the, where they, where they connect that, those are also different. Okay, so I can't get those confused at all. So we have the piece where our B plus wire, go, where our line goes in at. Just gonna clip that out, push that back in, the new one. Okay, get rid of these. I'm actually gonna save these, because obviously they're still good. You never know, I might, somebody might give me a TV or something. Now I'm gonna go to the other one. Okay, so that, you do have, um, I got that right. There we go. Make sure the holes line up. Put our, I got something missing. I don't know what happened. Let me get it on the floor. Here's one on the floor right here. My things back in. Voila. Okay. I 
And as you can see, the connectors are different. That's the old connector, the metal one, and this is the new connector for the newer strips, okay? And you just do that all the way down for all five of them. If these are loose at the end, just take a screwdriver and just open them up just like I just did so they actually stick in there. Because remember, we had to squeeze them to get them out. So it's just plastic. So it's... There we go. Okay. Get all my strips in there. Get all my tabs. Or pins or holders, whatever you want to call them. I'm actually going to get some tape. Packing tape, make sure I'm not covering the lens. It might be too thick when you see. Make sure, it's gonna be kind of tricky here. I want to make sure that it's in the notches up top. Make sure it is inside the notches and do not crunch these driver tabs on the side, okay? 
Make sure it's in the notches on all four corners. Looks good. Looks good. Excellent. 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 Then we're going to mount our driver boards back to the bottom of the TV. Pull the tape off. Be very careful. Take this off. Make sure that we even again. To that notch. Okay. Make sure the screen is not overlapping or sticking up over these brackets. Everything looks good, looks good. It should be fairly easy to put back here. I'm gonna go up one of these, part of here, push them all the way up and they right down, okay? One of these two notches, put it up in there at the same time, simultaneously up. Get this. There we go. And down. That's it, guys. And if you want, you can just you can connect your. I think I better do that. If I can, I'm gonna connect my T-Con board back into my driver boards. There we go. So I don't have to do that once I get the outer bezel on. That will already be done. And there is a line, as you can see, on the ribbon connector to let you know how everything is even. Excellent. Excellent. We're checking again, making sure everything is flush. Matter of fact, I'm still connecting. I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up just to make sure I didn't. <laughs> right, <laughs> you never know, right? Um, make sure that the screen's not cracked. Looks good, just came on. And don't worry about that spot from the suction cups. That will eventually go away. Okay. All right. Now for our outer bezel. Probably want to start with the bottom. Okay. It should actually snap right on. Okay. Pretty fairly easily. Do not use excessive force for pushing this on there. Okay. Just take your time. Place. Here we go. it that's how easy this one is okay and obviously all I have to do now is just reconnect my LDVS cable back into my main board and I should be able to check the picture on it making sure I didn't mess up any of those tabs slides in I believe I think so what's going on here Okay, there we go. Plug it in. Put your backlights come on. Get okay, backlights and there we go. A B on the bottom. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. Looks good.
looks good so far. Okay. No lines, no shaking, <laughs> no half a slow motion picture. Cause that's actually what happens if you, if you do this and you get like a slow motion picture on one side or it's darker on one side or, or yeah, you probably damage one of the tabs or the, or a lot of times this is easier. Sometimes people will actually put these connectors back in a little crooked or a little like one size a little bit higher. It's not all the way in there and your uh, driver boards or your T-Con board or even this connector here might be off. But yeah, that's usually what happens if one of those connectors are off. Well, everything so far looks good. So let's put the rest of the TV back together. Okay, get her all put back together. You can go ahead and plug it in. Lights flashing, should be coming up in a minute. Voila. Okay guys, looks like we're good to go. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure that you do subscribe for more videos. Give me a like if you like the video. And until then, I will see you guys on the next one. Big Dog out.